mail and if it starts to go. Because <laughs> if you go, I'm going. <laughs> looks like someone's had a bit of fun here. Yeah, it looks like she gets a bit soggy. <laughs> You might want a bit of four-wheel drive on this uh, crossing, mate. It looks a bit boggy. Tides up. Well, we are at the tail end of the biggest wet in 20 years, they keep telling us. I reckon it's still going. Yeah, this, um, this coastal track that we're heading down now, it has seen some devastation. Yeah, must be getting close to where we start heading uh, south, boys, for sure. Oh, look at that. There's that ridge line that we've got to follow along. Boom, land the time forgot right there, buddy. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, uh, so you remember this spot. This is uh, where the dingoes gave you a bit of a hurry up of a night time, yeah? Yeah, those pack of wild dogs. Hasn't changed much. No, it's been the same for the last 20 years. We've got a lot of hard work in front of us if we're going to find this plane wreck. Looks like the first of many creek crossings. There's a lot of crossings on this track. It's going in. It's going in hot. Is he going to get it? Nope. Yeah, very, very sandy and very, very boggy. <laughs> it was right at the start of it. Wow. Ah, oh, and so it begins. This is going to be a nightmare if this is the start of it. Well, that's an impressive length of rope. Wow, that's awesome. 42 metres. <laughs> I think this tree should be strong enough, eh? Should be fine, I think. <laughs> we'll get away with that. Richard's even straighter. No, it's just winding the rope in. <laughs> it's soft. It's that riverbed sand. Nice work. That's as far as I'm going. I'll do. Going forward. Forward's good. And drive forward a bit, Jace, if you can. Give a well, Nige. Oh, he would have made that. He just backed off a second. Oh, you got further than the rest of us. All right, whole convoy moving forward. Moving forward. You got us a gun, boy. Let us know when you're out, Nodge. Yeah, I reckon we're good. So I'm young chum. Yeah, so I noticed. Um, no vehicle tracks. Yes, that could either be a good thing or a really, really bad thing. It could be that no one's been down the track because there's something impassable. Anyway, we're going to find out in a real hurry. Have you looked at your map recently? Yeah. We've done a lot of driving and we haven't moved far. No, we haven't. Uh, she goes downhill rapidly on the other side of this little hill. Going down, down into the valley. They'd probably um, dial your brakes up a little bit there, Nige, but you don't want them locking up, but you can just dial the brake trailers up so it gives you, you know. Well, it's a trick, mate. Just sort of look at your, your colour chart on it and also just feel where the trailer's pulling you up. Yeah, you don't want your wheels locking up, that's all, so you want to dial it back just before that. Uh, this exit on this crossing, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm about the exit, the entry looks a bit sketchy. It's great. Going in. All right, here we go. He's going for it. Oh, dude. Gee, you hit that hard, the old front end was off the ground. Yeah, that launched up a bit. All the stuff fell off my dash. <laughs> I bet it did. Yeah, I know where. I'm going to need to winch out from this one. Right up. Yeah, you're going to make it, but you don't. 
I might as well go fishing while I'm waiting. These boys are taking ages to get across this. Good to go, Simon. Hit it, mate. Hit it. Hit it hard. Good job, bud. There's never a doubt. It's a tight little creek. It certainly is. There's a big angle on that other side going up. You gotta watch that tree there too, it's gonna to wanna to push you over into that tree. Yeah, gotcha. Geez, you did better than I thought you would. The only one gonna get out here, mate, is if I go straight ahead. Yeah, pretty much. There she goes. Moving some dirt there. <laughs> what a mission that was. I think we just gotta fill that hole in there so we don't get this big this big tilt. Because that's what the problem is, it's all banked up on this side, and we do the big tilt and And that caravan's gonna be a lot worse. Look at the engineering cap on mate. <laughs> You're normally pretty good at that stuff. Good job, gentlemen. That'll give me a bit of height, see? We want the, the van to lean back that way. So as it comes over, it'll go up onto there, lean away from the tree, and up we go. With a bit of work, the D-Max climbs out. He's up! And the lighter MUX romps it in. There you go, mate, all clear. Keep it going, Nigel. Put your wheel on the ground. You're not going to get much drive it up in the air. <laughs> what? Put some weight on the top of the bull bar, both ears. I don't know if I like this idea. Hey, give me some room, mate. Wait. Oh. You bail it if it starts to go. Because <laughs> if you go, I'm going. <laughs> Nice work, coming down. <laughs> well played. How good's that? Well played. What's the ball? I turned to some wheels down in action. That was Jace. You want Jace up here as well? Where are you, Skipper? Come on, come on. Up you go, come on. There she goes, she's up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Keep it going, keep going. That's the end of day one on this track. Now it's time for a feed and a sit around the fire. G'day guys, we've pulled up to the campsite. They're all running around like ravaging, ravaging through the drawers because they're hungry. They're looking for hors d'oeuvres. So what are you going to do? Well, you better get something on the fire quick, fast, otherwise they're going to be chewing your leg off. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick and simple stew just by picking up a few ingredients from your pantry inside your camper trailer. Onions, two onions, we're going to smash them up. We're just going to roughly dice them up. Two onions, whack her in. All right, some garlic. You need some garlic. There we go, chuck in a heap of garlic. Bacon, let's get that happening. So we chuck the bacon in. Give that a bit of a quick stir. And we'll stick the chunk of meat in. While that's cooking, what I want to do is I want to get flavour into the meat. Here's the kicker. It's a bit of Stone's Original Green Ginger Wine. You'll remember this stuff, it's been around forever. I'm gonna stick that in there because I like the flavor of ginger. And once I cook it in here, it'll burn the alcohol off, so it won't be a problem for the kiddies. So we're gonna stick in about that much. Now, we need some veggies. So, first of all, I've got pumpkin, potato, sweet potato, and some diced tomato in a tin. A bit of broccoli, give her a bit of a dice up. Like that. We're going to chunk up some potatoes. Now I've got here sriracha chili. You can use real chili or, you know, a bit of sweet chili. Now I'm only going to stick a little bit of this stuff in. Let's get all this stuff in now. So we'll go with the broccoli. You'll just notice how I'm just breaking off little bits here. Let's go with all our veggies. Don't forget your diced tomatoes, Italian tomatoes. 
Then I can add some water, I can add some flour, all those things so I can thicken the mixture. You want a good stew. You want, when you, when you hook into it, you want the goodness to be attached to the piece of meat when you're eating it. All right, it's time to get her on the fire. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we'll get that cracking. That'll start to boil up. And then as the coals die away, she'll start to simmer. You want that to simmer for a good hour. Why? Because we want that nice and tasty. We want it to melt in our mouths, mate. Hour? Yep. Hour? Mate, good food takes time. Cooking. I'm gonna make us some food now. All right, boys, you ready to feed yet? You have no idea. It's been the longest hour in history, buddy. <laughs> yep. Let's have a look at her, eh? Oh, oh, oh yes. Ooh, it smells good too, I mate. I bet you could smell it from here. Look at that meat and that broccoli in there. Yeah, we'll get some meat. There's a fit. Oh, a bit of broccoli. Beautiful. Oh, look at you. Oh. Give that a whirl. All right. Nice. Very tender. Good. That's awesome. So there you go, guys. The old stew doesn't fail to impress. Remember that one on your next camping trip. Want full episodes of All for Adventure ad-free? Go to Unleashed.tv for our full library of content.